Okay, so now we're producing some um, variables into the problem. So what we have here is um, 45 and then square root of x to the 12th. And so the first thing you can do is separate that into the square root of 45 and the square root of x to the 12th. Now, for the numbers, we already know to split that up. So I know that 45 is 5 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3. So 45, I can split up into the 3 squared, the pair, right, and square root of 5. And then for x to the 12th power, I can actually simplify that into x to the second power, because I need a pair, x to the second power, x to the second power, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, right? So that I group them in pairs, just like I did with the numbers. Now when I do that, the power and the root cancel. Power and the root cancel. They cancel, 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 cancel. And so if I, oops, I wrote the wrong thing there. That should have been a 5. So if I multiply this all together, I get 3 x to the 6 and the square root of 5. Now the number portion of this problem really is the best way to do that. So there's really no other better way to do that part, the number part. However, for the variable part, I would not use this technique for the variables. For the variables, what I would do instead is I would keep the square root of 3 squared times 5 and for the variables, I would actually rewrite that as x to the 12 over this index, which is a 2. And so then here we know that that would cancel. We know we would be left with the square root of 5. But then what is 12 divided by 2? It's 6. And then the only thing you need to do to clean it up is take the factors that don't have a square root and put them in the front. So this ends up looking like this. That's not an index, it's this guy's power. The index is still an invisible two, okay? So that's my suggestion when you're working out with numbers and variables inside the square root. So for instance, this problem here. Um, when we see this problem over here, we do the same thing again. So we're gonna take this and it's gonna be four times two or two times two. So we need a pair because it's a square root. So we're gonna take two squared, but we still have that extra two over there. And then for the variables, we're gonna do six over two. So these, the square root and the power cancel. You have square root of two. And then here that reduces to V to the third power. And so then all you do is put the numbers that are not inside the radical in the front and then the radical part at the end. And that's the final answer there. And so this is the technique that we'll be using throughout the rest of the problems, okay?